Hi, I'm Linda from Barlatti's Body Blitz. Welcome to my five day fitness challenge, day four. Today we're going to be doing kickboxing, cardio, toning with the loop, and also some abs on the mat. So we're going to do a lot of variety. I'm going to use my one kilo hand weights, which is just over two pounds to intensify some of the punches, but you can do it without. And I'm using my resistance loop around my legs to intensify the work for our outer thighs. Mini, no, leave my tree alone. Get in your Ben. Hopefully, hopefully she's going to be a good girl. She's looking for crunchies. Um, but if you don't have a loop, you can use a resistance band and tie it in a knot, or you can even do the whole thing without, or maybe ankle weights, okay? So let's get started. I'm picking up my weights from the get-go. Legs are wider than shoulder width apart. You want your knees slightly bent, and we're just going to start punching across. So point your toes, straighten your leg, tummies are in, shoulders are down, and punch across the body. With all of our punches, we want to make sure that we're keeping our shoulders pressed down, don't hunch them near your ears, and you're extending approximately at shoulder height. You're always leaving a slight bend in the elbow, and once you get a bit warmer, why not sink lower in those legs? It will help us to warm up faster. So we're gonna run through all of the different punches we're gonna be using in the workout, starting with the cross punch, a few more of this, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now move to hooks. So we're bringing our elbow up and across, across. Really deliberate action. I always want you to imagine that you're actually impacting something, okay? So you need to create isotension in your muscles. Once again, up at shoulder height and then across in front of the body. Keeping everything nice and loose. Your back is flat. A few more of these, then we're moving to uppercuts. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, uppercuts. So with the uppercuts, I want you to get down and up. So you're coming from the bottom and you're really twisting through your hips. Punching up, as if you're buffing someone on the chin, or under the chin. Really sink low now in the legs. You want to get your thighs and glutes warmed up. 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 Keep going. A few more like this. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now it's a body shot, so it's coming out from your waist and it's directly in front. It's a punch and recoil quickly, but never locking out the elbow. Always a micro bend in that elbow. Keep sinking into those legs, should be getting warm there. Keep going. A few more like this. Keep breathing. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna come up, up, up. So it's more of a elbow up and you're bringing your elbow out in front of the hand. So it's like an elbow strike up. You can slow this down slightly now. Sinking lower, maybe legs wider. A few more of these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's down, down. So I need you to ground your legs a little bit, down. So you're using your elbow and you're coming down in the center. I'm just bouncing through my legs lifting up on my toes to give me a little bit more momentum as I drive my elbow down in the center. Heart rate is coming up. Breathe through it. Come on, a few more. All the way down. Simple stuff, no tricky combinations. 
so you can focus on making it really challenging. Each move, it has to be your best. Let's go for four, and three, and two, and one, and prancing in place. We're gonna start some knee lifts to warm up our hip flexors. Four, three, two, one. So what I want you to do is drive the knee up. Up, walk, 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 up. So you're driving up and you're leaning your body back slightly. Down with the arms. Drive the arms down. Lean, lean. We're gonna take the walk out of it in a second and just do the knees. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay on the spot and knees, 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 knees. I'm slightly bouncing on my supporting leg. Now really drive down. Drive down with those arms. Up with the knee, down with the arms. A few more like this. Then we're gonna tap our ankles on the outside. Slight angle changes will really make a difference. Four, and three, and two, and one, and. So now we're tapping, tapping. Tap the outside of your foot. You can extend your fingertips. So you're bringing your leg up on an angle here. Slightly leaning into your side, into your obliques. Keep going. Breathe. We're going to make this into a side knee and a kick. Okay, but a few more singles. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go in side and kick, side and kick. So soft in your supporting leg. It's fast, but if you need to slow it down, just do it. Go at your own pace. But if you want to keep fast with us, then we're burning more calories, yes? Extend your arm with your legs. Bend and straight. Bend and straight, knee to the front on the kick. A few more like this. Heart rate is high, burning fat. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, insoles up. Bend forward slightly. Bringing those insoles up, knees are turned out. Feel your abs crunch as you lean. Warming up those hip flexors, get your knees high. That's gonna use your lower abs too. Keep breathing, deep breaths. A few more like these, and then we're just gonna kick our butt to get the opposite muscle group. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now row and kick. Row your arms to the back at waist height. Kick your heel up to your glutes. Simple, simple. Low and high. Level changes for the heart rate. Breathe. I should remind you, but sometimes when we're really concentrating, we actually forget to breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now just start to bob and weave. Okay, we're going to start doing some punch combinations. So bob and weave, 
keeping everything loose. And if you ever get messed up, just do cross jabs. Don't worry so much if you mess up a hook in an uppercut or a jab with a hook, it doesn't matter as long as you keep moving. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so wide legs here. We're gonna stay in the center and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, double, double. One, two, three, four, double, double. One, two, three, four, double, double. Try and stay low in the legs, double, double. One, two, three, four. Maybe pick up those heels. One, two, three, four. You don't need to punch all the way out on those doubles. Keep it at shoulder height. Double, double. Two, three, four, double, double. One, two, three, four, double, double. We're gonna add on some legs. We're gonna just cross jack. Three, four, double, double. Do one more of these. Two, three, four, double, double. Cross jack, cross jack for four. Back to one, two, three, four, double, double, cross jack, three and four. One, two, three, four, double, double, cross jack, three and four. One, two, three, four, double, double, cross jack, three and four. One, two, three, four, double, double, cross jack. Doesn't matter which way you cross first. One, two, three, four, double, double. We're gonna add on, on the end of the next one, a squat thrust. Three, four, double, double, cross jack. Two, three, four, down, back, in, up. One, two, three, four, double, double, cross jack. Two, three, four, down, back, in, up. If you don't want to jump it, walk it. Double, double. You don't need to jump this either. You can just lightly step off and you can walk back in the squat thrust. A few more like this. One, two, three, four. Down, back, in, up. Let's do three more sets. Double, double. One, two, three, Four, down, safely back, and up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's down, it's back, it's in, it's up. Last set, one, two, three, four. Double, double. One, two, three, four. It's down, it's back, it's in, it's up. Side to side. Let the heart rate down a little bit. We're gonna sit forward and back, forward and back. Breathe through it. We're gonna add a punch onto this. Punch, 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 punch. Try to step low. See how I'm stepping into the heel of the front leg? Almost crossing behind slightly. Down low, cross punch, cross punch. Shoulders down and back, tummies in. Go for four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go one, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. If you don't wanna jump, raise up on your toe. Raise, one, two, three. 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 Jump as high as you want. If you want a lot of air, why not? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four more. Get low. Two, one. So it's forward. One, two, three, up. Forward. One, two, three, up, forward. So you have to step first. Jump, step, forward, 
One, two, three, up, step, forward. One, two, three, up, step, forward. One, two, three, up, step, forward. One, two, three, up, three more, step, forward. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up, last time. One, two, three, up, uppercuts. Breathe, uppercuts to change sides. Don't worry if your timing gets out, if you mess it up, it doesn't matter. Just move, have fun with it. Uppercuts, uppercuts. We're gonna do singles and doubles here. Get low and up. Let's go for six more. And five, and four, and three, and two, and one. So it's single, single, double, and double. Single, single, double. Slow double to start. Single, single, double, double. Single, single, double, double. We're gonna speed up those doubles. Do a few more slow. Double, one more slow. Double, double. Now faster, single, single, double, double. Single, single, double, double. Little punches. Double, double, single, single, Double, double, single, single, double, double. Come on, get low in those legs. Double, twist through the waist. Pick up your heels. You wanna use your entire hip here. Double, keep going. Single, double, double. Four more, single, single, double, double. Three, double, double, two. Double, double, last one. Double, double, step forward and back. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna start with those punches. A few more without. Four, three, and one. Now start adding the arms in. Punch, lean. Lean. Weight goes in the heel of the front leg. Strong punches. As if you're punching a punching bag. I don't want weak arms here. Back and forth. Get low to high. Low. High. Extend those arms. If at any time you need to drop the weights, do it. Come on, a few more like this. Then we're gonna do that one, two, three. Go for four, three, two, one. So it's one, two, three, back. One, two, three, back. One, two, three, back. One, two, three, back. Now add the jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Come on. Really go for it. One, two, three, jump. Tummies are in. One, two, three, knees are soft. Jump, a few more. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's in, punch, punch, in, one, two, three, jump. In, punch, punch, in, one, two, three, jump. In, punch, punch, in, one, two, three, punch. In, one, two, three, jump. If you wanna take the jump out of it, in, one, two, three, then just raise up on the toes. In, one, two, three, punch, in. One, two, three, heart rate high. In, one, two, three, up, in, in. One, two, three, get low, in, in. Four more, in, in. One, two, three, jump, three. One, two, three, jump, two. In, one, two, three, jump, last one. 
in, one, two, three, jump, side to side, side to side, dip low, a few more, then we're gonna change these into unders to work the waist, six, five, use your arms, four, squeeze your triceps, two, one, so it's up and under. So you're going to rotate your waist, weights in front and squeeze your waist. So it's down around and up. You're stopping in the center, then going back around. We're gonna add a hook onto this so that we're engaging the waist even more. Go for four, three, two, one. Now it's hook, under hook, slow and controlled, under hook, wide legs, get low, under hook, it's low to high for the heart rate and for the muscle burn, low to high, feel your shoulders, breathe through it, down and up, let's go for six, and Five, tummies in, four, three, two, last one. Now we're just gonna start rotating in the center. Rotate your waist, stay low, rotate. Really twist as if you're wringing out a washcloth. Rotate. Squeeze the waist. Arms are just by your shoulders. You're using the weight to increase the intensity. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go across, punch, cross, punch. So it's across and then punch diagonal. Staying on one side. Sink low and up. Still ringing out the waist. So punch across the body towards the back. Across, across. Long arms, use your arms to help twist your waist. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now stay down, and I want you to start twisting your knees into the center. Just twist into the center, warming up through the outer hips, and we're gonna to go to the other side in a few more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now it's across in that lunge and punch. So it's down and up, down across and up, twisting, punch to the back corner. Try to get low, keep your legs wide to avoid your knee coming out over your toe. Punch it, just keep going. Squeeze that waist, wring it out. A few more like this. Nearly done with the cardio type moves. Four, three, two, one. One more combination. It's a simple one. All we're doing is cross, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper. Then we're gonna gallop across and do it on the other side, okay? So come to this side, widen your stance. Breathe, five, six, seven, eight. It's cross, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper, gallop. Cross, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper, gallop. Stay low, cross, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper, cross. Cross, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper, stay low. Come on, really move. Don't worry if you mess it up. It's always the outside arm first. Hooks and uppers, across, cross, hook, 
upper, get low, cross, hook, upper, low. Come on, last little bit of energy before we move to Tony with the loop. Keep going, cross, hook, upper, tummies are in. Sweat is flying, cross, now cross, cross, hook, upper. How many more shall we do? Upper, how about four sets? Upper, across. Upper, three more. Stay low. Two more. Last one. I messed up my order then, but that's okay. In the center, up and down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the arms. Let the heart rate down. Tiny little prance in place. Your arms should have felt that big time. Four, three, two, one. Okay, put that down and grab your loop. We're putting our loop around our ankles. The higher you have the loop, the easier it is. So I'm putting it around the ankles because it's harder. If it's too hard for you, move it above your knees, okay? So come to the side. We're gonna squat down. We're just gonna have our hands like this. If you wanna hold onto your weights, you can. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Across, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep tension on the loop the entire time. One, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, low, four. One, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Back is flat. Three and four. Out. Two, three, four. One more time. Each way. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Last time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. In the center. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. I want you low. I want you wide, wide and low. Forward and back, forward and back. Come on, sink into those glutes. You should feel outer thighs and glutes here. Hold on to your weights if you want more of a cardio factor. Four, three, two, sit into the heels. One, switch it, forward, back, wide. I'm never losing tension on my loop, even on the in. Forward, back, forward, back, sink it. Get your butt down. Come on, a few more like this and we're just gonna alternate. Eight, seven, six, five, low, four, three, two, one, so we're gonna go front, front, back, tap. Switching sides. Stay low. Outer thighs are feeling this big time, and hips. Keep going. Wide and wider. Okay, wide and wider. Not narrow. A few more like this. Then we're gonna stand and do some raises. If you don't have good balance, you might wanna get a chair for the next bit. Otherwise, try, try to use your core to help you balance. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now stand with some tension on the loop. Tummy's in, your supporting leg can be slightly bent. Other leg is in front, it's front, side, back. 
front, side, back. If you want to lean slightly forward, you can on the back. Squeeze the front of the thigh, the outer thigh, the glute. Front, side, back. Front, side, back. Don't worry if you wobble. Pick a focal point and try your hardest. Back, front, side, back. If the loop isn't working for you, take it off or use ankle weights, why not? Front, side, back. A few more like this. Side, back. Let's go for four. Side, back, front, side, back. Two more. Side supporting leg is feeling it. Front, side, back. Now if your loop has crept up, bring it back to the bottom. We're gonna stay on the front. It's front, 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 front. Squeeze the quad, the front of your thigh. Bring it up, point your toe. All the weight is on your supporting leg. This is where you might need to hold on, totally fine. Front, calming your heart rate down, but still a big burn in the muscle, yes? Front, front. Come on, more, I want more. A few more like this and then we're gonna pulse. You can keep it low. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and now pulse it. Pulse. If you can lift it off and just keep balancing, fine. Otherwise, tap down in between each one. Okay, just a few here. I know this burns. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To the side. Side. So I'm leaning slightly over. Weight is still in the heel of my supporting leg. And I'm really trying not to put weight on this leg. So on the down, I'm just tapping my toe and then straight back up. This side's feeling it. Double whammy, come on. <sighs> Kneecap to the front, leg ultra straight. Up, up. Come on, a few more. Eight, seven, then we pulse it. Six, five, four, three, Two, one, and up. Tiny pulses. Oh my goodness, this leg. Oh, I'm trying to bend over more to get my leg up higher, but that's torturing this side more. So tap down each time if you need to. Up, up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, oh my goodness. Attitude, ah! Okay, to the back, hinge forward slightly. Okay, up, up. Bend this leg a bit more, hinge forward at the hips. Squeeze your glute up, up. This one's tough. Try to just pick a focal point and look at that. Don't look at me once you see the exercise. You can turn your toe slightly out and your knee slightly out here if you want. That will give you more range of motion. Up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Just a few, pulse it, pulse it. Squeeze your glute, long legs, pointed toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Front, side, back. Front, side, back. Can you do it floating? If not, then tap down. So we're on the other side, side, back. Front, side, back side, back. Pick that focal point, it will help you. Front, ah, uh, the balance. That's okay, we all need to 
learn how to balance and be strong in every area, not just in our muscle strength, but in our coordination and balance and posture. Four, back, three, just go like this, two, and one. Okay, soft knees, leg in front, this leg straight, this leg bent, up and up, up and up. So it's like almost like a squat in this leg, a shallow squat. Up, up. Really keep this leg straight and think quad, front of thigh. Not much longer, I promise. Up, up. Come on. Try not to rest your weight down on that toe. Just tap and back up. Up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now tiny pulses. Come on, straight legs. If you need to take a break, take a break. Otherwise, just try, try. Don't look around the room. Just breathe, that burn is intense. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side, 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 big and wide. Even on the down, there's major tension on that loop. Side, side. Point the toe, hinging forward slightly will help with your balance. Weight is in the heel of the supporting leg. Nice soft leg, soft bend in the knee. Glute is feeling it. Side, side. Come on, out of thighs, hips. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, we're doing this together. Two, one, and pulse it. I'm sorry, pulse it. Not many. It's the supporting leg that is feeling this the most. If you tap down in between each one like this, slightly easier. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Attitude. Ouch, who designed this workout? Back. So hinge, slightly more of a bend in the supporting leg. Back, you can turn your knee out slightly. That will give you more range of no motion. Up and down, up and down. Squeeze that glute. Up and down. Try to keep your chest forward. Don't turn your chest out. If you're turning your knee out, up, up, up. Up, come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down and up, little pulses, little pulses, tiny little ones. Come on, you can do this last little bit with the loop. Up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it. I'm going to give you a second here. Okay, take the loop off. You deserve it. Let's use our weights to do some abs, okay? So, start in a C curve. Blow all the air out and curve your chest forward. And all we're gonna do is punch. I really like this one. You would have seen it in my other workouts. It really rings out the waist. Punching across the opposite knee. Punch, punch. Try to stay back. The further you're back, the harder this is gonna be. A few more like this. Eight. Seven. Six. 
five, four, three, two, one. Now stay up and just punch across this knee. Cross, cross, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now to the back, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, four, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, one. Shoulder death. Okay, take those weights down and come down. And all we're gonna do is put our hands by our ears and bring our knees in. Traditional little crunches. Letting everything calm down and focusing on burning out the abs. Slow and controlled ab work. Don't pull on your neck. Keep your shoulders, sorry, your elbows out wide. Come on. In and in. We're gonna make this a bicycle and bring our opposite elbow to knee. In four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Now elbow to knee. Across. Across. Slow and control to start. All the air out. Twist it. Twist it. Twist. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Now legs up and we're gonna go faster, faster. Same thing, slightly faster. Extend those toes, <sighs> breathe, breathe. Come on, across, across. Obliques, upper abs, lower abs. A few more like this. Come on, a few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now straight legs, slow it down. We're gonna start reaching across the opposite leg with our straight arm in four, three, two, one, it's reach and reach, reach and reach. <sighs> Nearly done with this. If you can straighten your legs like this, leave them bent. Reach, reach, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, help yourself up. Last little bit. One weight. We're going to weave under. Weave under. C curve. Lift those legs. Under. Under. This is our last exercise. Under and under. Hip flexor death. Ab death. We can do this. Getting rid of all those excess calories. Fast pace keeps the heart rate high, even when we're doing abs. Just keep going. This is an extra long set just for you. This is using every part of your abs. Obliques, because we're slightly twisting the waist. Lower abs, because we're picking up our legs. And upper abs, because we're in a C-curve position. Multitasking at its best. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. You are done. Awesome job. Lying on your belly. Breathe in and oh, stretch the front of those abs. Oh, that feels so nice. 
come down again. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and stretch up. And then come back into child's pose. Push your armpits towards the mat. And then come up into cat cow. Push your spine to the ceiling and release. And again, all the air out and release. One more time. Now bring your leg forward and I want your knee to line up with your belly button in a pigeon pose and come down, stretching your glute. That feels really good. We did lots of glute and outer hip, all those kicks, all those knee ups, the loop work, it all worked that, that area. So you really want to stretch that out. Feels good. And then let's just switch that, exactly the same thing, other side. Ah, oh, that feels good. You can hold these stretches a lot longer. Now open up and let's just stretch inner thighs. And then legs together, hamstrings. Just bending forward, flex if you like, point and flex. Sorry Minnie didn't end up coming in her donut. In day three she was in there the whole time, but today I couldn't entice her. And then just lie down, heel to glutes, and up. And other side, heel to glutes, and up. And then cross-legged, just interlace, push in front, up overhead, side to side, interlace behind, pull up at the back, open through the shoulders. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for five day fitness challenge day four. I hope you enjoyed the boxing and all of the legwork with the loop and I'll see you tomorrow.